Hey guys, it's Crystal, and today I'm gonna put the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus's camera and the iPhone 7 Plus's camera to the test and see how well they do against each other. Now with camera, the Galaxy S8 Plus is rocking a 12 megapixel shooter with a 1.7 aperture, and the iPhone 7 Plus also has a 12 megapixels with a 1.8 aperture. But one interesting thing with the 7 Plus is that we got two lenses on there, but we'll get more into that later. Now, regardless of the outcome, both of these are awesome phones, and I'm thinking about giving one away, so make sure you hit that like button if you guys wanna see that happen, and also make sure you're subscribed and turn on those notifications so you don't miss when it happens. Okay, so right off the bat, when it comes to outdoor photos, the first thing I notice is that extra contrast the Galaxy S8 Plus has, where on the iPhone 7 Plus, it's a little bit more toned down. So we have the darker areas of the Galaxy S8's photo being very crushed, losing information. So between the two, I think the iPhone 7 Plus has a more natural looking photo, and it's probably the most realistic representation here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best photo here. That all comes down to personal preference, but both cameras are doing a great job here, so I'm really curious to hear which phone's cameras you prefer. So next, let's see how good each camera's HDR mode performs. So here we have a nice little fountain area that's kind of in the shadows with a bright sunny sky in the background. And I think it's pretty clear that the Galaxy S8 kind of spanks the iPhone 7 Plus's in terms of properly exposing the dark area and bright areas. The iPhone 7 Plus's HDR mode just isn't as aggressive as the S8's and it kind of has to pick one or the other to properly expose. Although the 7 Plus is doing a better job at keeping that information in the clouds. We still have that crazy contrast going on with the S8. It's overall a lot brighter and we get a little bit more color too. You can really see this if you look at the tree leaves. Okay, so now you're probably starting to see the theme. The Galaxy S8 has a bit more contrast over the iPhone 7 Plus with tons of color, a little warmer too. And I definitely think all these things make the Galaxy S8's pictures much more eye-catching, but the 7 Plus's more faded and natural look is something a lot of people might prefer. Now let's get to the second lens on the iPhone 7 I was talking about earlier. It's called the telephoto lens. And when you're shooting in bright outdoors like this, it works really great. It allows you to optically zoom in two times, so you're not gonna lose much quality. So the only way to zoom in with the S8 is digitally. So this is what that would look like. The telephoto lens also has another trick up its sleeve though. It's called portrait mode, which artificially gives you that nice blurry background for a depth of field look. The S8 also has a feature like this though, called selective focus. It doesn't work in real time and it's applied after the fact, has a little more trouble figuring out what's a subject and what's a background. And since you're not optically zooming, you have to physically get closer to your subject to do this, so you don't get the same background effect either. But it still can come out really nice. Okay, so here I was trying to see how well each camera captures motion, and both are actually doing a really good job. The iPhone did have a little more trouble stitching together the HDR shots. You can kind of see this with my shoe. But overall, both pictures are really sharp, so in outdoors, you shouldn't really have to worry about blurry motion shots. I mean, once again, both have their own styles, so it really depends on which style you happen to like more. All right, let's jump into some low light shots. This is where smartphone cameras start to struggle, but Samsung says this is where the new software enhancements really come into play. So this was as the sun was just setting, and some of the traits we saw in outdoor shots are still here. Like, man, does that S8 love to crush those dark areas? But I do think it's just ever so slightly sharper, and it definitely has the most color too. If we take a few steps back though, and get more of a landscape shot, the S8 handles shadows a lot better, and the overall photo is a little brighter. So those green uh, leaf things are much more pleasing to look at with the S8, especially with that popping colors. So here I do think the S8 is doing better. Okay, so here we have some pretty major differences. There's a lot going on in this shot. It's a super dark area with some bright patches coming from the light bulbs in the back. The 7 Plus' shot isn't really that much brighter than the S8's, but it has a lot of trouble with those light bulbs overexposing that entire area. Even this top right corner here, the S8 handles it super well, probably once again due to that very aggressive HDR mode. The colors here are also a little more vibrant too, so I definitely think the S8 is gonna give more pleasing low light shots. Especially here, you can see just how much more noisy the iPhone 7 Plus is, so I think the S8 takes a crown in these situations. So let's talk about selfies now. This is actually where the biggest camera upgrade is for the S8's camera. Last year's S7 had a five megapixel sensor, but this year Samsung bumped it all the way up to eight megapixels, which means we should get a lot more detail now, and we do. 
It was probably my biggest complaint with the selfie camera on the S7 last year. The photos always looked kind of soft and airbrushed, even when beauty mode is off. Now we have much more detail, but I do think the iPhone 7 Plus offers just a tad bit more. I think the biggest difference though between these two shots is the angle of the lens. The Galaxy S8 has a very wide angle lens, which I gotta say, I love so much. Not only can you fit in more people in the shot, but you can get in much more context as to where you are. Not to mention, it just makes you look more flattering without your face being so huge in the frame. With low light selfies, I actually was very surprised. Last year, the S7 selfie camera fell apart in low light, creating super soft images. But I think those eight megapixels go a long way here. The S8's photo kind of has everything going for it. It's just as sharp as the iPhone 7's while having more colors and getting a lot more in the shot. Okay, so now let's take a look at how well each phone does 4K video. Here's the iPhone 7 Plus, and this is a pretty challenging shot to get with the sun peeking over the trees, the bright sky, and the dark foreground, but it's doing a pretty good job at adjusting exposure. It's the nice and smooth video, and the colors look nice too, right? But when we switch over to the Galaxy S8, oh my, look at those colors. They're crazy vibrant, but not to the point where it's too much. It just takes the video to a whole new level. Not just that though, but it also does a great job at adjusting exposure when moving from darker and brighter areas, and the boost in contrast is just enough to make it really pop. When putting them side by side, you can see that sometimes the iPhone is the one that crushes the blacks, to the point where at times it's just a little too much. However, as much as I love the colors with the S8, the optical image stabilization isn't quite on par with the iPhone 7 Plus. It's a little bit more jittery when walking, which isn't that big of a deal, but definitely noticeable. So in terms of low light, I think the S8 is definitely the winner, but overall, it really just depends on what style you prefer. And about that giveaway I mentioned earlier, it's actually gonna happen right now. I've teamed up with John from TLD. We're gonna be giving away the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus. All you gotta do to enter is subscribe to both channels and follow us on Twitter to see when we announce the winners. He actually has a more in-depth comparison between these two phones, so make sure you go check that out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.